A good friend once asked me, have you heard about Bruce? Bruce who? I replied. And she replied with, Bruce Jenner, obviously. Apparently, Bruce Jenner from Stephen of the Kardashian is currently undergoing a sex change, and only those who live under a rock in order to avoid reality television would be in the dark about their story. Hello, my name is Jessica Lascaro, and today I'm going to be speaking about Reality TV, A Dearth of Talent and the Death of Morality by Simon Rushdie. In the essay, Rushdie explains a few popular reality TV shows, such as Big Brother and Survivor. He lists plenty of examples of how the people on these shows are becoming rich and famous, including keeping a fire lit, lounging around, and kissing or hooking up with others from the same show. In short, Rushdie explains that it won't be long before viewers become bored with their reality and producers are eventually going to have to come up with more. Rushdie goes on to ask readers how long we have until the first reality TV death, followed by a second death. Basically, Rushdie's purpose is to attempt to show the hidden realities of reality television to readers in an attempt to inform them about what reality what is really important. Becoming rich and famous by doing nothing or looking good? For living a real life, knowing the differences between right and wrong, without the strange and unusual conditions and rules involved. Thinking about my own life and experiences, I can definitely relate to the author. I feel as if reality television is, in a way, taking over. I only know a select few people who watch the news frequently, and no, I don't need e news. Friends, family, and everyone in between can barely wait until the next episode of their favorite reality TV show to air, whether it be Keeping Up with the Kardashians, or even my parents' new favorite show, Married at First Sight. I must admit, I have been hooked on a few reality TV shows myself. Rushdie wrote his essay in a modern and reality-based worldview. This is similar to my own worldview because I tend to look at the world as a realist. I thought the reading was well written and made valid arguments. The only thing I would change is the examples of television shows used because I think that in the 14 years since Rush I have written his essay, reality TV has only become even more demanding and farther from actual reality. Shows such as Keeping Up with the Kardashians focus on the successful and dramatic lives of the infamous LA family and people cannot stop gossiping about them, comparing themselves to them, and even idolizing them. Thank you for listening to me speak today, and next time you see a reality TV show, please try to keep in mind that trends have a short life before they become even more demanding.